Our guest today, folks, is uh, Dr. Kerry Szymanski. Uh, Kerry is the director of the Tampa Bay Women's Business Center. It's an entrepreneur center that uh, takes care of uh, women in the Tampa, St. Pete, uh, probably Clearwater area also. Kerry, welcome to TFNN. Hi, Tom. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So tell us, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're ready to, to bust out of the COVID era. You know, a bottom line is that we're a year later, you know, folks are basically uh, coming out of it. Uh, you specialize in women business, uh, bottom line, getting women up and going. So first off, tell us exactly what your organization does first. Sure. Yes, I'm so, so grateful to be here and so nice to meet you. I'm the director of the Tampa Bay Women's Business Center, and we help female entrepreneurs launch and grow successful businesses. So if you have an idea to start a business, if you're in business for a couple of years, we have a team of qualified business coaches to help you along the way. We're also partially funded by the SBA, so we have some wonderful financial resources that are helpful to entrepreneurs. I like to think of us as a connector of resources. We also have a wonderful uh, array of webinars helping everyone from finance uh, to social media marketing to branding um, to really staying up. I know COVID's been tough for a lot of people for the past year. So we've been able to help our entrepreneurs pivot, help to launch new businesses and expand and really get into territories they never thought they could before. You know, now we've always, it seems to me, being a guy, okay, uh, in business for a long period of time, we've always had plenty of women that have done great. They come into companies and they can, they can accelerate companies in a huge way. What are the challenges, that being said, what are the challenges for a woman that's starting a business at this point? You know, I think there's so many challenges for anyone starting a business, uh, but for women especially, what, what we've seen during COVID is so many women lost their jobs. They had to be, come home. Not only are they moms, but now they're teachers, they're business owners, they're employees. So I think there's so much to juggle with COVID. And, you know, some folks love to work remote, others not so much. So there's been such a big change in the way we work. Um, so, you know, I love working from home, but I'm a fur mama, so I've got three, you know, pets. There's a lot of women that have kids. So working from home, trying to start a business at home, um, juggling a lot of things has been a challenge. And then where do we go for resources? Where do we get a business plan? Where do we get the finances to start? How do we start an e-commerce store? Um, so we had a great webinar yesterday uh, talking about how to launch an e-commerce store, how to create one from scratch. Nice. We have a wonderful webinar uh, next week that we're doing with First Citrus Bank about show me the money. How do you leverage SBA loans? And what are, what are the financial opportunities that are out there for women? So, you know, part of my job is marketing of telling folks, hey, we exist. I'm also a college professor and I taught entrepreneurship for over a decade. I was an entrepreneur myself. I had no idea the women's business centers existed. And there's over 130 across the United States. Here in the Tampa Bay area, we offer free business coaching for clients that live in Hillsborough, Pinellas, Hernando, Manatee, Pasco, and Polk counties. And in fact, uh, you guys are in St. Pete. We've got an office at the Saint, at the Pointer Institute. So we're very excited to expand our reach with our clients in the St. Petersburg area. And we're part of the Helen Gordon Davis Center for Women in Hillsborough County, right in Hyde Park in Tampa Bay. And you know, when we talk, now uh, Carrie's website, folks, is, uh, it looks to me, thecenter.org, right? Yes, that's part of this, um, the Helen Gordon Davis Center for Women. And within there, you'll find the Tampa Bay Women's Business Center. And there's a number of pages that are respective to our organization, the events that we have, sign up online with a business coach. And also, if you're curious about loans and grants, I've got a whole page dedicated to the resources to get to the financial aspects of our business. So let's let's talk about that because it's it's been it's really intriguing. You know, if you've never done business with the SBA folks, they've always been great to do business with. Uh, mm -hmm. Within the last two, uh, well, actually the last three stimulus bills, um, it's never been easier that to do business with the SBA that you can basically get loans for um, very large amounts of money with just a signature. So let's let's talk about the SBA for a bit because there's no doubt that. I'm, I'm sure that you're out there teaching women on a continual basis um, that there is plenty of money out here to basically there, op operate businesses. Yes, there is. And, you know, and I think that's one of the number one calls we get. You know, how do you have money to start a business? Um, so there's grants that are available that are that's free money. 
Um, and those are hard to come by, but they're out there. What I've done personally is I set up Google alerts. So grants for St. Petersburg business owners, grants for females, grants for entrepreneurs. Um, there's also all the wonderful SBA loans. So the SBA provides the applications for the loans or the tr traditional um, 7A loan, the surety loan, the micro loans. And really the folks that are actually giving the money are the banks. So First Citrus Bank is gonna do a great webinar next week on Wednesday, May 5th at 11 a.m. So you can learn more information about that. And during COVID, um, there's been, everyone's heard of the PPP loans. Those yes. have been extended. May 31st, the idle loan, which has been extended um, for that as well. Um, PPP has actually turned into a grant that where clients, if you did receive a PPP, you can fill out PPP loan forgiveness. Um, the idle is an actual loan, but up to 10,000 was forgiven. So that was a great program and launching on Monday at noon. If any of your uh, viewers right now have a restaurant, bar, catering business, food truck, they're launching the Restaurant Revitalization Fund. And uh, that's an amazing program. So the government is gonna help you with an award. It's not a loan, it's an award for all of the funding that you and um, revenues that, that you didn't accept during the past year during COVID. So if you have a business, you lost a lot of revenue, um, definitely apply for the Restaurant Revitalization Fund. That opens Monday at noon. So there's lots of information on the sba.gov portal that you can get more information, get all the paperwork in place. So the government's really trying to do a great job. The SBA is really trying to do a good job to help the entrepreneurs. Yeah, there's no doubt that that, that restaurant loan that Carrie just talked about, folks, for the folks that stayed in business, this is gonna be a windfall and they should get it. I mean, because it's definitely a windfall. I mean, I was actually looking at the aspect, carry of like if someone didn't make it, if they just closed down, but they had a good set of books, uh, it's like a sad. I'm hoping that some of those people actually look at it again because it can bring them right back on their feet, which is pretty amazing. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah, you know, it's worth the application. Uh, they said it takes about 25 minutes, but I don't know if that was an accountant saying that um, to apply for this. But definitely uh, you can go on the portal, look at all the paperwork that's needed. They were encouraging people to get ready, all the paperwork ready this weekend so they can apply on Monday. So there's definitely money out there. It's just a matter of searching, um, having the right business plan, having the right um, opportunities in place to really apply for those. What, what businesses do you see in front of you more than other businesses? So at the Tampa Bay Women's Business Center, a lot of our clients, and it's such, it's so fun to talk to the clients. We see a lot of life coaches. We see a lot of fashion companies, and I've got a couple clients launching e-commerce companies, wholesale companies, um, hair salons, home health. Um, we've got a, a great woman that's a client that's got one of the stands at the pier and sells some wonderful products nice. out there. 